This is a video about how to write for the marimba lumina. At least how I'd like to see the writing from the marimba lumina that makes the most sense to me. The written range, I like to see it here. So that means, um, like a vibraphone, this would be your top F, standard vibraphone. Uh, and that's three ledger lines and a half above treble clef. And personally, instead of a double staff, I like to see just a single staff. What it does is it usually means fewer page turns, which if you have mallets in your hand, can be convenient. Um, so, and I can read this just fine uh, down here. It's a, this is the low C, the, an oct uh, three and a half octaves below that. So that C is three, four and a half ledger lines below the treble clef. And that's just fine. Um, when you do write a lot down there, if you're writing lines, or if you simply have a few spare notes and there's not much going on, um, writing in bass clef is fine too. In fact, if there was a lot uh, written down in this octave, rather than read a whole lot of ledger lines, um, I would rather see bass clef. But it's still in that written range where this is the lowest note. That means that this is the D right above that C. Generally, I like to see everything on one staff. It just makes it easier. If you want a different range in terms of transposition, all you have to do is simply note, uh, explain the instrument. This is an organ bass. Even though it's written here, which is my playing range, that's that D, I'm going to play that right there. I'm going to play it on that D, but it's going to sound two octaves below. So I still am playing it where I see it, which is how I prefer it. But the description of the instrument and my preset will determine the actual sounding of the notes. So again, it, uh, right in this range. And um, if you want your score to be written at the sounding range, you can feel free to do that. Um, you can also do this kind of thing where you just say celeste sounding an octave higher. That's not unusual in scores. We see that all the time. Likewise, you could do this kind of thing where the bottom note here is an octave. Well, the whole thing is an octave uh, sounding an octave lower. This can be a little bit busy if you do a lot of eight VBs uh, or octavas. Um, so sometimes it's easier to just put it in the description or just implied in the description of the note, like as in, in the organ being an organ bass. Um, so that's a simple way to handle the transposition again. So this is the written transposition. Write it anywhere in here, but make it sound whatever octave you want. Next thing I want to bring up before I forget is uh, there in this example I showed you uh, with the 8VB, there, there are these strange rolls. Uh, he did this on purpose. Um, however, if you're going to write rolls, um, unless there's a specific reason you really want me to start with the right hand, it's much easier to read normal roll notation for marimba. And that would be um, like this. This is a very standard thing for us to do is to simply roll the notes. If we're playing a note that, like marimba and you want us to play it legato, we might just naturally roll it. And then uh, we might write some slashes over it. Sometimes it's not even required. But uh, this is the way the normal mallet player sees rolls, not like this up here. Here are a couple more thoughts I'd like to leave you with in terms of writing for the Lumina. First thing is that I do have four mallets, up to and only up to four mallets. I typically hold them with the red in the base here, red, yellow, green, blue, bass to soprano, and I number them one, two, three, four, if I choose to number them. But in the uh, case of the electroacoustic band, two mallets is usually plenty. We do have two instruments in the band that play chords. If you do write for four mallets, I encourage people to use their fingers 
to determine whether my part is playable. If you use the index in the pinky, you will find uh, out whether I can play it. Um, you can also use the thumb in the pinkies uh, to determine whether it's playable. The range that I is comfortable in the each hand um, is a fifth usually is the standard sort of natural range, uh, sixth obviously. As you see over here, you'll see each hand is only separated by about a fifth through this entire line. That makes that very easy to play. Um, but I can do up to an octave in each hand uh, comfortably as well. So up to an octave for the intervals between the mallets in each hand, um, if necessary, down to a second is okay as well. Three and a half octave range that you see here actually is a playable range for the Lumina. Uh, see a couple of ledger lines below this, if this was bass clef, we assume it is. Um, up to this F right here in the treble clef, that is another three and a half octave range that if you really feel you need to write in that range and you remain in that range the entire piece, I can probably wrap my head around it and um, play in that range as well. But I do prefer this range of the C down here to the F up here. Um, I also said I like to think of this instrument as a synth. It is not actually generating sounds like a synthesizer. It is a MIDI controller, so it is sending MIDI messages to my computer, which I am using as a synth. And the sound resources I have in the computer include, of course, the sampler, uh, Contact, which is a very common sampler. Uh, I have the entire Native Instruments complete setup that includes all the Native Instruments synths, most of the Native Instruments synths anyway that they have available. Um, and it also includes uh, the Ableton Live Suite. I have that as well, but I do not have Logic or Main Stage. So if you're writing directly for the sounds you'd like uh, and you have these other resources, um, feel free to please write the sounds yourself and I can play them exactly as you could on a keyboard. So that said, I hope uh, that makes sense for you. Enjoy writing for the ensemble and for the Lumina and I hope I haven't given you too much to think about um, but just enough to think about the instrument creatively and um, not get too many complaints back from me when I see the part for the first time. Thanks.